Hi everyone, Stacy Whiter here on behalf of Campus Mortgage with a quick refresher on HUD required disclosures. Now just a quick reminder before we get started, this video is for informational purposes only and should not be considered legal advice or used in place of FHA or HUD guidelines. Also this video was issued on April 17th, 2018 and the information contained in this video is subject to change without notice. So let's take a look at the HUD required disclosures. Now these are not all of the FHA disclosures required, just the HUD ones. So the ones that we're gonna take a look at are the informed consumer choice disclosure, the important notice to home buyers, the lead based paint disclosure, and the for your protection get a home inspection. So first let's talk about the informed consumer choice disclosure. This is not a specific HUD form, meaning there's not a form that HUD provides. Instead, lenders need to create their own, but the purpose is to inform borrowers if they are qualified for a similar product that is not an FHA mortgage. So if the customer is choosing to do an FHA mortgage, but they also qualify for a conventional, then the lender is responsible to let the borrower know that. Lenders can use language to create this form from the HUD form 92900B when they're preparing the disclosure. Next is the important notice to home buyers. So this is a specific form um, that you would need to use and the lender must provide a copy to the borrower at application. And they also must retain the original copy that was signed by the borrower in the file. And the purpose of this document is to provide information to the borrower. Let's take a look at some of the information that you can see here. It informs them about interest rate and discount points, how those are determined and how that works. It talks about loan fraud and making sure that they give um, acceptable information. On page two, it talks about prepayment penalties, um, that the loan does not have a prepayment penalty. It also talks about mortgage insurance, assumptions, an FHA to FHA refinance, so it tells them about streamlined refinances, uh, refunds on the mortgage insurance premiums, and monthly insurance premiums. And then there's a section down here at the bottom for signature. Next is lead-based paint. So this again is not a specific disclosure that HUD has created, but it is for properties that are built before 1978. In that case, if the buyer is buying a property that was built before 1978, the seller is required to disclose any information known about lead-based paint hazards before selling the house. Typically, this information is going to be included in the sales contract. So this is just a quick snippet from the Georgia sales contract. And it says here um, that it specifically addresses lead-based paint. And it says, to the best of the seller's knowledge, the residential dwelling on the property was or was not built prior to 1978. So if it's checked that it was not, then there's no issue. But if it checks that it was, then the lender's gonna be required to ensure additional requirements are met um, if the home contains those lead-based paint requirements. Next is for your protection, get a home inspection. Now this is a specific HUD form and the lender must provide this to the prospective home buyer at first contact. So usually that's gonna be at prequal, pre-application or pre-approval or at initial application. And this is a sample of what it looks like. Again, a lot of times these will be provided by the real estate agent, but it's certainly up to the lender to make sure this is, this is given to the borrower. Um, there's no signature section, but a lot of times lender will just have the buyer initial it. All right, those are the four HUD required forms. Thanks so much for watching. For more tips and videos, please visit campusmortgage.org to look for their weekly mortgage video tips designed for all mortgage professionals, including underwriters, loan officers, processors, closers, and post-closers. Have a great day. We'll see you soon.